All right guys, hope you're all good. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I actually want to go through one of my own plugins, which is the text message conversation and how you actually install it and use it within Final Cut Pro. Let's go. So once it's downloaded, it'll be a zip file here. So all you want to do is double click to open the zip file, and then you'll have another folder which contains both the plugins and the installation guide. So what you want to do now is copy the plugin folder, which is this one here. So if you just click on that, right click, copy, and then you want to save it in movies. And as this is a title, you want to go into motion templates, titles, and then paste. I've already pasted mine in here, so I'm not going to do it again. There's no point in that. So then once you've done that, you open up Final Cut Pro and it should appear in the left hand side in your titles section over here. So mine are here. So all you need to do then is pick which one you want, simply drag it into your timeline, press play. As you can see, it auto animates. So that's all good. Then in the top right hand corner up here, you click the T. And this is where you can input your text. So you can write whatever you want in here. So something like, why not visit? phone call who phones me now in cyprus I'm not answering that anyway back to the video here you can change your text so why not visit the creators block.co.uk for some awesome final Cut pro plugins all right so you can do all the usual stuff change your fonts change your style all that kind of stuff but i won't go into detail with that but what you can actually do is you can turn off the build in and out if you want so you don't want it to animate in so you turn that off it just pops up no animation in same with the animation out you can even add, add a background blur if you wanted to so you can actually make it so that the background blurs which makes it more prominent just a little extra there that i like to put in got the date you can turn that on turn that off the status whether or not it's red or sent or whatever you can turn that on and off and obviously below here you can actually change the text so if you wanted to change the date time it was sent so it was 8 45 instead you can change that again red you can change that to i don't know let's go with 9 45 someone who doesn't get back to you as quick as you would like so anyway that's the red and sent statuses you can add drop shadows all that good stuff change the color of the background one of the little thing if you want to you can actually turn this little tail here if you don't want that on and just turn it off and obviously you can scale it up to whatever size you want that's the overall gist pretty simple pretty easy to change easy to customize so of course if your text is a little bit longer than two lines so you write some more stuff in there so as you can see, that doesn't quite fit. What you can do is just increase the size of the box. So you just increase the height of the box and I've made it so it increases from the bottom upwards so that it's quite easy to centralize your text. All the little touches help. So yeah, now you want to put in your reply. So what you do here is I've got the 1B, which is the reply plugin. So simply just drag that on top. I'd recommend even a few seconds so that you can actually read the first one first before the next one actually starts. But what you'll notice is as soon as the second one starts, it's gonna start in exactly the same position as the other one. See what I mean? We don't want that. We want it to actually lift up automatically as we get that reply through. So weirdly enough, is what you're meant to do is select the reply, head over to where it says push distance, and say if we put, I don't know, 20 in for push distance. As you can see, it's lifted up the sent message above the reply. However, it's also moved the entire frame, which we don't want. So if we just undo that, so this is what you need to do with this particular plugin. So you need to select them both, and then you need to create a new compound clip. Call it whatever you want. So now, if we go into that compound clip and then we select the reply conversation and put a push distance of, let's say 17, I think 20 was a bit too much, but I'll do that may be 15, 50. Yeah. So now if we were to play that back, in fact, if we go back to the video, looks a bit better. So now if we play that back, you get your first message through and then your reply pops up above, no, below, pushes up the first message. That's what I was meant to say. So what you also might want to do is when you're inside your compound clip, make it so that the first one actually is the same length as your second one. So it doesn't actually disappear before the other one's finished. 
so it stays up and they both disappear at the same time then. Then if you want to add it in a photograph, we've got various options here. We've got a photograph with text. You can also put videos in there. It doesn't have to be a photograph, whichever you prefer. Same again, that's the reply version. You've got a landscape and portrait option. So this is the portrait photograph. You can obviously adjust the sizes of these to your photo, but these are the most common ones that we've done. I've done ones there without any text, so it's just as you can see there, there's text at the bottom. These ones have got no text, so it's just the photograph. If you don't want to put any text in, again, we've got portrait versions of those. And then there is also a sound clip if you wanted to put a sound note. I have never said those, but people do. So if I put a photograph in there, again, change this push distance to go to 30. So now, as you can see, picture pushes up the rest of the text, which is exactly what you want. So again, you've got your Dropbox here. So it's simply just drag and drop a photograph, whatever size you want to and change your text again, all the same sort of customization, customizable features that the other ones have where you can uh, turn the tail on and off. If you want to put the tail on, turn the status on and off, change all those good things, size, position, color of the box, etc., etc. So now if I show you, in fact, we'll go back because as you can see here, this actually now extends into the grayed out area where it's not going to be played on this side. So if we just extend this out, all that will do is take everything to the end of this clip. We drag those out so that they are all the same distance. Now if we play that back, you've got your first message and you've got your reply and then you've got your photograph. So now if we add in one of the voice notes, so say you get a reply as a voice note rather than another photograph, pop that in there. Again, click to about here, so it's about halfway through and then do your push distance. You can just use this slider to see whereabouts you think would be best. So potentially there, leave it at 28.05. That's a very lucky number for me. And with this, you can change the duration text or whatever. What I would recommend here is that you have an actual sound effect and you put a sound effect in from wherever you get sound effects. So, you know, let's just grab any sound effect. I don't know. So let's just put that in there, change that to that. So then when that happens, that pops up, presses play. And as you can see, we've been sent a dark cage opening sound effect as a voice note, just what everybody wants. So as I said before, extend these out. So finish at the same time. Then if we go back, drag this out. So it's at the very end, press play. Just realized I've put awesome FOP plugins. You get what I mean, right? So that's all popping up nicely and it all disappears. So there is one thing that you want to bear in mind is when you first start this conversation plugin, thing in your project. You might want to actually figure out the location of where these want to start beforehand, because I'm going to show you why. But if you were to do this afterwards, like now, if we wanted to man maneuver this further down, so say if we got it down here, moved it over to the left. So because this is a compound clip, it's got the boundaries of the original clip that makes any sense. Anyway, I'll show you how to fix it. So basically, as you can see, it keeps going up, but then there's a cutoff line, which is some sort of invisible cutoff line. So if you double click into your conversation and then what you want to do is select the first one, go up to the position and then manually move this down. Perhaps I'm going to go with somewhere around there. So minus 0.25. Don't ask me why it's such small increments. It doesn't matter. Right. So what you want to do is also change this for every other one as well. So minus 0.25. So there we have it. So now if we press play, it should start lower down. Actually it started too low. Ah, this is why. So I want to undo this. <laughs> so now if we play it back, it starts lower down, pushes everything up, but doesn't have that cut off. So yeah, that is it. As you can see, it's pretty simple. I felt like I needed to do this video because if I just put out a teaser video and then give you installation instructions, you probably would download it and get all types of confused because it confused me the first time I tried to figure this out because it is a little bit annoying that you've got to create a compound clip. You've got to make sure that they're all starting in the right position. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's really simple, really easy, really quick. And yeah, you can have some fun with it. You can change the colors, change the backgrounds. You can mess about with it, do whatever you want. Really customize it customizable. I can't say that word. It's really customizable. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Leave a comment if you think it's rubbish or leave a comment if you think it's awesome. I don't know. Maybe just leave a comment if it's nice. Anyway, yeah. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of new videos. I will be putting out more videos a bit more frequently since I've changed my job because now I am officially a videographer and editor, which is great stuff much better than my previous job. So anyway, it gives me more time to concentrate on stuff like this. And also I'm going to be able to get better and better and put out better content for you guys, which hope you enjoy. So yeah, thumbs up. 
like, subscribe, bell, comment, all those awesome things. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Peace. Bye.